Recently, I was asked, how can I get my general ledger account segment descriptions out of GP and into Excel for review? I'm going to show you how you can do that now. I'm actually going to show you four different ways, but in this video, I'm only going to show you how to do it using SmartList Designer. If you have GP version 2015 or higher, you have SmartList Designer. I'm first going to go in and make an edit to one of my account descriptions. So in the financial series under setup, I'm going to click on segment. And this is where I just define a name to a segment. So I'm going to first look up my segment ID and I just scrolled up and I could see my natural segment. So my particular chart of account has three segments and I'm going to grab the second segment. Then in the lookup for the number, I could see all of my segments and you could see only a few have names next to them. So I have bank account listed for that first segment. I also happen to know segment 1101 is also bank account. So I'm going to enter in bank account there as well and then go ahead and click on save. Now I do not want to roll down the name change to all my existing accounts. So I'll just click on no and close it out. And now that I've shown you where you can change the descriptions, let's begin by creating our smart list object. Now for here forward, it doesn't matter what you want to get out of GP. You can create a smart list and then dump the results of smart list to Excel. So I'm going to open up my smart list. And if I open up the financial series, which is where the general ledger account segment should be, should lie, then I could see right now I don't have anything out there. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. And you'll notice that I have new in my toolbar for the smart list. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, if you have smart list builder, you're going to get a different window. And in a couple days, I'll show you how to use the smart list builder by E1 to create the same results. But if you get smart list designer and you can see that in the name up here, then you do not have smart list builder and you could still build it out. So what I'm going to do is just give it a name. We'll call this GL account segment description. It's part of the Microsoft Dynamics GP series. And I'm going to change the series itself to financial because it belongs in the financial series. Now I'm going to find the table that contains that data. So I'll open up Microsoft Dynamics GP and open up the table and then open up the financial series. And once this opens, I'm going to see all of my tables. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the one that says Segment Description Master. So I'm going to just slide that over a bit. And I'll click on the plus sign next to that. And now I can see all of the fields in that particular table. So what I'm going to do is simply click on the segment number, the segment ID, and description. So you remember when I just entered that in, I looked at segment number two, the second segment in my chart of accounts. I pulled up the segment ID 1101 and then I entered in the description bank account. Now that I have selected those as my field to be in my smart list, if I click on execute query, I'll see all of my segments listed here and I'm going to scroll down past segment one and you could see where I entered in bank account. So I've got all of that covered. I'm only accessing this one table, so I don't need to worry about table relations. And I want the ability to look at all of my segments, so I'm going to leave the filter alone as well. So now that I have all that done, I simply need to click on OK. And now I have this new object in my smart list with a default that shows me all of my segments. And let's ensure this works. I'll close out smart list again. I'll go back to my category. Let's go back to the second segment. And 1102 is also bank accounts. So I'll enter in bank accounts there, if I could spell it properly. And I'll click on Save. Let me open up Smart List again. Financial, GL account segments, 
And now you can see I have bank accounts there. That time I did it with an S. Now, if I want to put this in Excel, all I have to do is simply click on Excel. Excel will open up. Mine opened up on a different window. And there it is where you could see it included. So that's how I could get all of my data in Excel. Since it's a smart list, I can now go into search and I could enter in criteria. For example, the segment number. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to say is equal to one. Maybe I just want to get all my divisional ones. I'll click OK and now I'm looking at segment one. And just like any of my other smart lists, I can make this a favorite by coming in here and typing in division segments and then go ahead and click on add and now I have a new smart list object as well. In the next part of the series I'll do Excel Power Query to pull it in which will make it refreshable within Excel. After that I'll use E1's product Smart List Builder and after that, I'll use E1 Products Excel Builder. Hope this helps.